Disability no be the problem, oh. oh yeah. Now your attitude be the problem, oh. Yeah, guess what? What? I think it's high time you meet my mom. Really? Yeah, I'm serious. Not nice. Like, I am so freaking serious. You know, I talked to her that I have an African queen here, and she's like, what would an African queen be doing in this part of the world? Talk to your mom. I swear me. I did. Oh, I actually love that. You think I'm joking? And what does she say? Hey, do you know what's in my mind right now? What? You and I, walking down the aisle, standing together. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold Liz, on. I'm for real. Hold on, hold on. Are you serious? I am for real, like I'm damn serious, girl. See, I want you to be the very one that's gonna meet my mom, and I want you to be the one to walk down the aisle with me. For better, for worse, remember? Come on. That would be amazing, though. I'd love to meet her. A princess, have a seat. Well, uh, see, I'm have not a, a princess, seat. I'm a queen, honey. Oh my lord, you are my queen. You will always be my queen. Yes, but you honey, know? I was born a queen, not a princess. Oh my god, just let's start from here for now, you know. When you are by my side, everything just goes smoothly. Oh, Latif. I hope that's not Latif. He is Latif. Are you? Hey, Latif. How are you? Natasha, where are you? I've been waiting for you since. You said you're going to meet me here. No, I'm out with Chinedu, actually. You are with Chinedu? Again? But, what? It's supposed to be me you are. You promised to meet me here. Why Chinedu again? I don't like what you are doing. This is supposed to be I and you in this part. I've been waiting for over three hours. I'll call you. Yeah, I'll call you when I'm done. All right. I don't like what Natasha is doing. She told me to be going. That she, she will come and join me. Now she's with Chinedu again. I don't think Chinedu has a job. You and my cousin need to find common oh, grounds man. to get along together. <sighs> so he's my cousin and he's not going nowhere. You know that, right? Hey, when it comes to you and I, no one else matters, you know. I know, but you and the team need to like resolve whatever issues you guys have together. Okay. Well, what I'm just saying is right, right now, you and I are together. Mm -hmm. What matters is you and I and nothing on earth should come between us. And guess what? what? It's time for the movies. So oh, yeah, we're running that is true, that is true, that is true, yeah. Are you done? Yes. You can't wear the same thing over and over. You can't wear that. You have to change. But I don't have I don't have anything here. Everything is in my house. You do have clothes in the room. 
But that's what I want to wear. No, you can't wear it. You wear this all the time. So no, you cannot wear it. You need to change. But I like them. You still need to change. That's why I want to wear. If you don't change, you're not coming with me. You need to go and change. We have different clothes. You need to use them. Why, why are you so bossy? I'm not bossy. You can't be wearing the same thing over and over. You need to change. You have other clothes. You're bossy. I'm not bossy. I just can't let you wear the same thing over and over. But I like them. You like them? Don't wear them out. You need to go and change. What, what if, I, if I don't want to change? Then you're going to stay here and I'll go by myself. And you can't come with me. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Why are you throwing things around? I'm, I'm, I'm going to change. Change. I'll wait. I don't want to change anything. I don't want to change anything. Latif, are you done? Latif? Are you done? I'm coming! What's taking you so long? Because I can't find anything. Why do you mean you can't find nothing? There's a box full of clothes in there. Can you hurry up? Okay, I'm gonna leave you. Let's see if I'm leaving. Bye. Why are you always coming so slow and walking so slow? Please leave my friends, please let me see these pretty ladies, please. <laughs> wow. Wish you had to. Ah, ah. Let me show you. See those pretty ladies. Why are you always talking about guests when you know you are dating Natasha? Every time I'm with you, you are talking about guests. Now we come to the library and you are also talking about guests. Why are you talking as if ladies or girls are monsters? You have to appreciate what God has created. Don't, Why are you supposed to do that? Every time you are with me, you are either talking about girls with their boobs or, or, or their breasts or, 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 or their uh, bum bum. It's not good. Latif, I'm not in the mood for insults, okay? I was only here appreciating the beautiful people, beautiful ladies. I think you have something against ladies. I don't know, but I think you I should... I think you have something for every lady. You are very useless. And I'll tell Natasha. Hey. Natasha will hear about this. I'm not... I'm just looking at them. I didn't... Did I sleep with any of them? Did I go to bed with any of them? No, you are looking at them. Very soon you'll be sleeping with them and dating them. And that is not good. You see, I don't like you. I'm not, very useless. I'm not having sex with them. So you're, I'm not even married to Natasha. Why are you... What is wrong with your brain? Just go away from here, man. I'm gonna let this shine. This little that of mine. I'm gonna let this shine. This little that of mine. I'm gonna let this shine. Hi, are you? This little that of mine. Yes. No, I, I'm a good singer. I'm gonna get to shine. Get to shine. Get to shine. 
Yetifshai. It looks like something is wrong today. You're so slow. Because I'm tired. Can you keep sitting down? Yeah, I'm not happy. Can we talk about it? Okay, come over. Come over here. Come sit with me then. Latif, come. Come, let's have a talk. I'm coming. You are always looking charming, happy, and you're always very fast whenever you come here. You know, I've told you that you have a good voice. Yes. I'm thinking maybe you can join our church choir <laughs> to sing. Would you like to sing? Choir? Yes. Eh? What is he going to sing? Ah, da, 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 da. In the church? Yes. He has a good voice. Oh my voice. God. Why? Okay. See what you have done again. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. I don't like her. Don't sit down. I don't want to talk anymore. You see? I don't want to talk. I don't like her. You can't you sing. I don't like her. I don't, I don't like her. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. I don't, I don't want to see her anymore. I don't want to see her anymore. I don't want to see her. I don't want to see her anymore. She's very bad. What did you say? I think that I think that I think that I But I've told you not to count her words. Just leave her. That's who she is. Maybe she's having a bad day herself. You know, when people have bad day, they shifted their own uh, bad thing on other people. So don't don't mind her. Don't mind her. Think about what I told you, okay? I don't. I don't want to talk anymore. I want to go home. I don't want to talk anymore. I don't want to talk anymore. Wait, you. I'm working with you, but I'm ashamed of working with you many times. Why? Because your work ethics does not meet the standard of this organization. Are you? I have every right to express my feelings about anybody. I don't like him. He stinks. Ooh. Nobody argues that with you. Wait, wait, you. But my point here is that you have every right as a community worker to protect Latif, to respect him and people like him as well. Remember, you're supposed to be educating public members about autism. But look at what you're doing. You're damaging him. When you see or when you hear other person from the public members behaving like this, what will you say? Would you be joining them to bring down Latif or people with autism? For me, if I'm your boss, you're not meeting the standard at all. A worker in the community must work with positive work ethics, but you're not at all. And this is the reason why I must report this. It is an abuse I to this guy, to Latif. We don't treat people with challenge like this at all. I am. Don't go to the manager. I want you to go to the board. It's your job. Wait, you, with all your behavior and your attitude towards Latif, you made me believe that you are one of those people from the community that comes to community to work as a worker or a staff just for the money. You don't have the interest of these people in your heart at all. Is Latif your boyfriend or your son? Or you want to be talking <laughs> like Latif? All right then, that is why I came to talk with you. I have warned you. You seem not to want to change, and I will take it higher. Have a good day. I'm not going to change. I don't like what you do every time. You're always talking to guests. You've done it today again. You are talking to everybody there. Are you not going to grow up? What do you mean grow up? So any girl that you see me talking to, you just assume that I'm asking them out or I'm sleeping with them. But you always do it. You're talking to women. You're talking to guests. You don't have respect for Natasha. This time, 
It's another time you do it. The way you're gone, someday you're going to see me talking to my sister and you assume that I'm trying to speak with her. Hello, I'm not like that, man. I'm a very respectable man. And but that's why Natasha even listens to me and has agreed to date me. Grow up, man. The way you are talking to them is the problem. You should stop. Hey. Listen, no matter what you tell Natasha, she won't believe you. Of course, everyone knows that you have a problem upstairs. I talked to a girl. It's a problem. Hello, I'm not like that, man. I'm a very respectable man. I don't like going out with you anyways. I don't like you. You are just a wolf in sheep's clothing. Every what I say is true. Are you sure? This I put girl. What is it? Oh, it's a tear. Oh, it's still a tear. How are you? Hey, how was your nap? Hey, my tear. How was your nap? You can't marry my cousin. Why? Every time we are together, we talk about women. And, and you drink a lot. I don't, I don't mean to hurt you, but I, I'm scared. You. Is what he's saying true? Latif has this ability, are you aware of that? But that does not mean that he can't see things. It doesn't mean he doesn't know things, he does. Like, I don't mean to bring him down, but think about it. He's my friend too. Like, we hung out right. If I didn't regard him, we wouldn't be chilling out together. But he's my cousin. But I'm just telling you that whatever he says about me right now, it's totally false. Like he said, you guys hang out. So he sees who you talk to and he sees what you do. Babe, I'll so never lie to you. you cannot tell me that. I will never lie to you. If I ever do such, shoot me. I will shoot you. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm good. Oh, what are you watching? Just watching. Some more you don't know um title. Would you mind if we talk? So I wanna talk about Charles. You said I couldn't marry him and I just wanna know the reasons why I can't marry him and why you say that. He talks about women every time and look at women every time we're together. I know you're saying he talks to women or he talks about women, but have you seen him with any women? I've not seen him with other women, but uh, every time we're together, he look at every woman that pass every time. Obviously, he's talking to you because you're his friend. So, what is the evidence of what you're saying? You are dumb. You, 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 you don't know what you're saying. No, there's nothing for you to get mad. Like, what are you getting mad for? Oh, you don't want to talk no more? No. I don't want to talk no more. Okay. We still need to talk. You stupid. I don't want to talk to you. That's cool. No need to get mad. I tell you, you're not going to leave the rain. 
I don't like the rain spoil our beach. And I think it's a good weather because, you know, it's been pretty hot some days ago and I think this is a nice weather to cool things down. I love the rain. I don't know about you, but I'm okay with the rain. It's, it's nice weather now. It's all cool and all again. I don't like it at all. The way is... Hey, man. I thought you have your own snack. Why are you taking mine? The rain is not doing good. You love food. You know... Can you see your tummy so big? You gotta kill yourself. I don't like me. the rain. I don't care about the rain. Look at me. Look at you. I have a question for you. Go ahead. You know my cousin? Who? Natasha. So what about her? She's single. Mm-hmm. Meaning? And she's good for you as your wife. <laughs> Are you for real? You're joking. No. I've never seen you with any woman since we worked together. And that doesn't mean I'm single. I've got one eye for a lady and my wife to be my princess back home in Nigeria and Africa. <laughs> Relationship is not good. Says who? Me. That's according to your own dictionary or book. She can cook. Mm -hmm. She can do laundry. Mm -hmm. And she can do makeup. She spent like over an hour doing makeup. Good for her. And good luck to the husband. You're going to find Natasha. But not me. Can't we out because you know what? I've got eyes just for one princess, one girl alone, and that's my wife to be back in Nigeria. Sun is coming up. I guess it's a lucky day. You should think about it. Maybe you're gonna leave your princess. <laughs> Can this one give me advice on relationship? Can I even work well? Maybe it's gonna fall today or tomorrow telling me who to marry. Nonsense. Latif, you better wait, it's just rain and the beach is all dirty and you know gonna get yourself messed up. You better wait and I hear people telling me, and most of all, your cousin telling me things. Why are you blackmailing me? Did you just see me with any girl? Did I take your girlfriend? That's even if you have one. You can call it whatever you want. You can say it's blackmail, or you can say anything you like. How you want it, or how you like it. All I know is that you like guests too much and you talk about guests. <laughs> I have somebody, my friend, that I'm working with. My friend that I'm working with that employ me. He's responsible. I'm talking to him to come and date Natasha. That is the person I want Natasha to marry. Nonsense not you. About. Latif, I'm not here to joke, okay? Like, I know it's, there's time for comedy and all that, but this is not time, you know, to make fool of yourself. I'm here for a very serious thing. I, I hurt so bad that you go blackmailing me to your cousin. You know I love her so much and she loves me so much. You are a woman nicer. I don't like you. And let me tell you something, young man. There's nothing you can do about it, man. That's abuse. You are not supposed to touch me. Look at you, man. <laughs> Talk to the end, man. <laughs> she may do. Fina, do that. 
That is why I told Natasha I don't want to. Hey! He's leaving me. Are you... Are you not... I love Natasha. She has just left me. He was talking about black men nonsense, and I told him the truth. Yes, he is just living. Latif, you don't wait for me to say come in before you come in. What are you looking at? Well, I was looking at my emails, and now I'm looking at designs. Is there a problem? Is this how you're going to use your life to buy clothes when you get married? If you marry Adi, you get a lot of design. I don't know what you're still doing with Sydney too. Okay, 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 Latif. I don't want to hear anything about Adi, your boss. Even the Sydney too comes here and drink all your wine. Leave me alone and stop talking about Adi. But he's a good guy. Latif. I don't care. I'm telling you. Latif. I'm telling you a good man. Why are you so dumb? Right? Every time I'm oh, talking to you. Oh, see, why, why, why are you so Like, why do you want me to go and date a day? I don't want a day. Okay, let me tell you the truth. Mm. She do. Mm. We not. If she need to marry you, mm. she need to have many gifts. Mm -hmm. And she do want to give them everything and if you're not careful you're gonna cry i just don't want you to cry so you want to get a man that is only one man Latif. one woman Latif. and he will spend everything only on you you're so beautiful why are you giving yourself to that idiot latif leave me and chinedu alone you and ade can go somewhere don't talk about ade i don't want to hear ade I've told you my mind. Go take a bath and change your clothes. You will cry. You will regret this thing I'm telling you. I'm telling Latif, you. go and shower. Do not tell me good. You may do an idea. What how many they requested for? Hey, hey, Latif. The customer requested for five boxes. Why are they returning two? Because they don't want any more. They still have some. Don't worry. Let's go. Let's go. I want to talk to you. About what? I am not following you today. Because Natasha. He's having a birthday. There we go again, Natasha again. Yes, and you you should come. If you so much fix him, go marry Natasha. I cannot marry my cousin. So why? <laughs> I Would don't you? get it. I told you I've got my princess from Nigeria. So Natasha it's no go for me. You know? I've told you long this time relationship is not good. I give you Natasha's number. Why don't you... Okay, if you don't want to call her, why don't you come to her birthday today? And you can meet. Two of you can meet. I don't know. Well, let's go. I gotta go. You see, okay, you're not going with me. I'll see you. I'll see you. You have to drop me. I have to go. What? I, 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 I need to use the washing machine. If you don't like... To wait, you can go inside the bush outside. I don't know when I will come out, and I'm not ready to come out. You can go to your house. Okay, Latif, don't take it personal. Well, I don't know, you don't have to be personal. Okay, see, I, I, I promise you $50, please. You can make it $100. Oh, Latif, I, I, I like only, okay, okay, I, I agree, $100.
You have to give me hundred dollars. I will give you your hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. I shot him. <laughs> ah! I don't know. You are very scary. No, yeah. I don't know I can scare you. I'm very scared. You, you should have food on your body. Next time I will take 200 dollars from you. What can I do again? You think you can take Natasha from me? I will show you in this house. You, you, you come here and you are being like you are some somebody and you punish me and Natasha too is talking to me. Hundred dollar one. Hundred dollar two, it's gonna be two hundred dollar next time. Nonsense. Chief, are you okay? I'm okay. What's wrong? Talk to me. What, what's going on? Natasha's boyfriend has been staying in our house, not in our house, in Natasha's house. And he's been sleeping there and I'm scared he's gonna hurt Natasha. How is that my problem? He's cheating on Natasha and he's making Natasha get upset with me. He drinks a lot and, and then he, he talks about women a lot. So how, how is that my problem with the job you're doing? If that's a problem, I don't, I don't see that as my problem. You gotta walk because, you know, time is going. I'm not interested in this show, Natasha Talk. I've got business to run here. Okay? Please get back to work and then if you think you don't know interested in the work again, probably find something else to do. Get to work. I 
I'm sure by the time we got inside now, Latsi like, wouldn't have done anything. Really? Yes. Why would you say that? We've been out all day. You know, for the past three months, mm -hmm. I've noticed it's been very small. It's been like that, and I don't know why. The other day, we were somewhere to deliver some groceries to some clients, okay. and Latif was just asking him to get a gift for cousin Natasha. <laughs> I, I asked him to, you know, get some boxes of pepper for a client, and it's okay. taking forever, you know, to fix just two boxes. I don't know. It's okay. becoming, you know, uh, troublesome for me. Did you try talking to him about it? I've tried what I could, all I could, and it seems, you know, it's not getting any better. Hmm. You know what? This is the point where I need to talk to you about this. I honestly observed your changing attitude towards Latif. Why can't you call him? Talk to him like a brother. I mean, I think you should take his father at this point. At this How point. else do you want me to take Latif? No. I Talk. met him at a coffee shop and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's always talking about jobs. I brought him in, you know, not just as an employer, but as a friend. I know. I try to be his friend, so we hung out, we went to the beach together, we watch movies in my house, and I, know. I don't I know. know why he's like that. This is, this is the thing. Think about it. So if he cannot talk to Natasha anymore, if he's no longer connecting to Natasha, I think you're the only person that is still available for him to talk to. And guess what? I think you're desensitized to his feelings. I think you're not being sensitive as you used to be. I think you're becoming everyday person who don't you know they, they don't care about what people with disabilities go through i think at this point you're beginning to withdraw yourself you're closing up to him so if he's going through some things you are the one you can talk to please please at this point don't let him harm himself think about it what if he does something to himself so please take it a step further do what a brother would do can you do that for me <laughs> Your sister. all right Okay, okay, that's Let's fine. Go. Let's go. I'm off. Okay, see you. Take care of yourself. Ah, Latif, you're still here. Don't, I'm not taking you home today, oh. You're joking. You're your home. Here. I think I told you to do it very carefully. Latif, you don't want to go home? No. It's okay, you want to stay? Come in. Sit. Latif, please sit. It's okay. What is really the problem? What is going on with you? Ask him. Why don't you want to go home? Talk. No? Just give him some time. I don't want to go because Natasha's boyfriend lives in Natasha's house now. Oh. She needs to. Really? Yes. I mean, he sleeps there and he's taking on Natasha's turn. I'm not happy about that. Why don't you go to your house? Natasha's house is still from your house. Go to your house. Natasha is with his boyfriend and uh, you know, what is your problem with Natasha? I mean, that's that's the reason why I'm, I keep saying, you know, he has nothing important to say. It's all about Natasha and Natasha and boyfriend Chinedu. Okay, can I, can I see you for a second please? Can I see you? At this point, I really think you should take it easy with him. You know, he's like a child. And Natasha is not just his cousin. She's the only person that really cares for him. And hey, someone is taking her away from him. He doesn't feel good about it. You know the way kids are. They want their parents to be with them every time. And he's like a child. So I understand his feelings. And we have to be there for him at this point. How would you feel if you were to be him? Try and understand his condition. He doesn't want to go home because of the situation at home. But I'm sure if you go with him, he might go. I think you should be careful with him. Just deal with him quietly. And please, just 
probably take it home, take him home today. If he doesn't want to go home, maybe if you go with him, he would want to go. Do you want to do that for me? Please, can you do that? Can you take him home? Just drop him off at home for me today. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. You know what, Latif? Do you want him to go home with you? Is, will that be fine? Do you want him to drop you at home? Yes. Okay. That's better. Then it's, it's going to take you home. Hmm? Don't worry. You'll be fine. Hmm? Okay, so please, let's do that. Oh. Just drop him at home today. Hmm? Take care of yourself. Hmm? All right. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, sorry. Coming to your house, you know, I'm blues and uh, I was just coming from the supply with Latif. And oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm dressed like this. Oh, no, that's okay. That's uh, okay. Uh, many times I drop off Latif downstairs. Mm -hmm. He always asks me to come upstairs and I try to avoid that because I don't want to talk about him while he's present. So I avoid any kind of communication. I hope you understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So today, he said he was going to see Auntie Chica. Oh, yeah, he had to oh, go yeah. see Auntie Chica. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I'm here to talk to you today about Latif. Okay. Uh, I remember the, when I met you, two of you, you know, back then at the cafe, mm -hmm. Latif was lively. Yeah, yes, he was. I, I see that life excitement, you know. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of the party, and, you know, that got me, you know, somehow connected to him in mind. I thought, you know what? I don't just give this guy an opportunity to work with you, you know, and uh, I took him in on that basis, you know, mm -hmm. not as an employee, employer kind of a thing, but, you know, we're friends. And I do appreciate the fact that he's able to work with you because some companies will never hire anybody that has disabilities, but you took him in, you're not only his boss, you're his friend, like you said, you guys go to the beach, you guys go do a lot of things together, and he tells me that too, which I do appreciate it, so... I don't understand why he's acting like that. I think uh, the issue is not uh, friendship. Okay. I mean, okay. It's something more. You know, uh, he keeps talking about this one guy named Chinedu. Oh. Uh, Chinedu is mm. bad influence on you, lives in your house, eats your food, is going to use you and dump you and all of that. And, and you said all that? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. All my attention was geared towards Latif, but when I started dating Chinedu, that became a problem because I have to give attention to Chinedu and I have to give attention to Latif. This entire situation, he, he doesn't need to worry because he's my blood, he's my cousin, and nobody can replace him. Like, guys come and go, but he's, he's still going to stay there. He will still stay there, so there's absolutely no way that he's going to go anywhere. And I love him the same. I'll give him the same attention. Hey, thank you. Someone is not telling themselves the truth. <laughs> Natasha, hear yourself. You keep shielding this your chin they do. Like say, please, please, please. That was out the other day. Latif told me that this same chin they do in question called him an imbecile what? and even a disabled person who yeah. does that that's not good who does that even in the underdeveloped world they don't call people imbeciles neither do they call them disabled but only uncle chinedu does that and then when you tell her no chinedu cannot do it i need proof like seriously with your cousin he knows he won't try that when me i'm here Every time I come, that's why, whenever I come, I say, I'm leaving. <laughs> he won't try that. He knows me. I will give him very hard. Hmm. Excuse me. I've got to take my leave. I am so sorry for what just happened right now. I, I, I know that she painted a, a horrible picture about Chinedu, but that's not the case. The problem is that he doesn't understand people with disabilities. So whenever him and Latif are interacting, they don't understand each other. But it's not as easy. Even when he called Latif all those names, I sat him down and explained to him that that is not an appropriate way or the right way to communicate with Latif. With Latif. But I'm not ag as aggressive as some people are. But I am trying my best just to make him understand with the entire situation. Okay, fair enough. I hope things uh, improve and I hope, uh, you know, I don't want to lose. Latif, yeah. it's a very good guy, but you know, 
if this goes on, you know, it's going to be affecting my business as well. So mm -hmm. I hope things will get you better. Know, and then, improve, improve okay. Talking. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. You're appreciate. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank coming. You. Thank you. Thank you. All right. No problem. What you said. That Chinedu is not treating your cousin right. Like for si seriously. Were Natasha. you there? Were you there for you to be saying such things? Were you there? Yeah. I don't have to be there. You your cousin has told you not once, not twice. What do you want have? What do you want him to tell you again? Do you want my, him? Co my cousin does not have proof about anything, so oh, you can't tell oh, him. Oh please! Right. I hear you, Natasha. No, listen. I don't want to hear anything. That oh, I saying. don't want to no, hear you. No, no, oh, no. suit yourself, please. I don't want to hear. Anything. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. Anything. I don't want to hear anything. Is this yours? Is this yours? Now what, now what, what nonsense is this? Bro? I told you I will show you in this house. What are you doing here? Yeah, what nonsense? What, 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 what's watching all this one? This is your Natasha's And you don't even say anywhere. You stay here. Now what am I to Natasha? <laughs> you don't stay in your house. Who's Natasha to me? This is not yet. Are you going to stab me with me? You think Natasha is wrong? What's the, what, what, what's the matter with you? It's not yet. This is our remote and our activity. Why are you being a child, man? Like you're so childish. You don't have any right in this house. You don't know Lati, Lati, huh? Hey, <laughs> so this is what you do when I'm not around, huh? You frustrate Chinedu on purpose, and then you twist it and turn it and say it was him, huh? Why, huh? No, 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 wait. So this is what you do to Chinedu? Huh? What has he done to you that you're like this? Every time he's always staying here, he's coming from work, he's coming here, he's eating our food. Let me ask you a question, don't you stay here? So as it is, you don't want me to have nobody in my life but me and you, just that. Is that what you want? You want me to stay single for the rest of my life? So I just to marry you. Huh? Will you marry me? Huh? And he's allowed to be in my house because he's my boyfriend. What do you mean, what about you? With the way you're acting? You're packing your bag. Tomorrow morning, you're leaving. Because you cannot be acting like this. You're embarrassing me. Back, back. Back and back and back and back, just embarrassment. Huh? Don't you take a break. It's this, it's that, it's this, it's that, and then it's Chinedu's fault. Someone that is sitting here, Jojil, is sitting down. Just and, like that. And eating now our food. You don't go to his house. You don't know what he does. Tell me, you never... Wait, this food, did you buy it? Or is it your food that you ate? Can I ask you a question? No, you, need, you didn't answer my question. Did you buy the food? Huh? Did he eat your food? You're looking at me. Huh? You're busy eyeing me. You won't answer the question, but you're capable of asking other people's questions. You're always causing trouble, misbehaving. Every time you're in this house and Chinedu is in this house, you're doing one thing and the other. You understand? Stay in your house. Eh, please pack your bag and leave. This one is simple something. Pack your stuff and leave. No, the one behind you. Who else am I talking to? This is not what I'm talking to. I, I am. 
Uh, thank you very much. Bye. Ha! Huh. I'm sorry. Ha! Huh. It's so troublesome. I don't really understand. Like, I thought this was done when he did all those crazy things, but it's like he just keeps doing them for no reason. Like, ha! Huh. I am so sorry. Are you okay? Though? I'm supposed to be at work right now. But I couldn't go to work this morning because I went to Latifi's room and he's not there. Morning. What? No. All I found was this, this, this note, this note that says, I leave for my own. I don't like your bully. Who is bullying him? No one is bullying him in that house. Where could he be? I have no idea. He doesn't say where he went. Did you try calling his phone? I called his phone more than 20 times. This is the kind of behavior I've been dealing with. <laughs> he has his own place, but he won't go to his place. He chooses to come to my house. Anytime Chinedu comes in the house, he'll just misbehave. I was with Chinedu in the room. He came in the room with his underwear, showing me his underwear. What, what am I supposed to do with his underwear? What? Yes. And when you tell him and you instruct him and you redirect him, he says, I'm bullying him. He does not listen. How can you do such things? Latif will shower and wear the same thing over and over and over. When you tell him to change, I'm bullying him. I'm too bossy. I get all that kind of nonsense. And he wants to go everywhere with me. You can't go anywhere with me with the same, same shit every day. Uh uh. Have you tried calling Ade, his boss? Ah, I call Ade. Ade does not know where Latif is because he did not even call his own boss. He didn't call in sick or anything or let him know that he wasn't coming to work. Auntie, it's too much. He doesn't realize that he has responsibilities. And now when you say you have a mental issue, you start arguing with you. No, come, come down. Stop the idea. You of all people should not do that. No, it's not that me of all people. Use that. Yes, I now. I told you several times, don't use that word. Uh, what if somebody hears you calling your calling him, he has a mental issue? No. As an individual, if you want to be treated like a typical human being, then act like it. Yeah, that is why we are trying to incorporate him into the system. To blend with uh, uh, the typical, the other typical people too, so that he can behave like us. You still have to, you know, because he's slow. You have to have some element of patience with him. I beg you. Mm, no, please no. This is frustrating. Okay. And it's scary. All right. It's, it's okay. Let me try to call him. Hello? Hello, Latif. I'm fine. Can I speak with Natasha? I don't know if Natasha is home. You are not in Natasha's place? Where are you? I'm in my house. I'm watching movie. Okay. Do you remember we have a doctor's appointment? He sent me an email for your medical review. I remember, they want to change my medication. Oh, you remember? All right. I'll be expecting you soon. Okay. See you soon, okay? Bye. Oh, so you could actually pick up the phone. I told you he's not pissed off with me. He's angry ah, with you. I when, he's, when he was angry with you, don't you remember how he used to run to you? Uh -huh, that is a typical behavior. Don't let it bother you. I know it's frustrating, you know, but it's still family. What can we do? My baby, oh, my baby, oh, my baby, my baby, oh, my sweetheart, oh, my baby, Anytime I wake up, I wanna see you. You to find a way to baby. Anytime I wake up, I wanna see you. You to find a way to live Every time I think about you, I feel happy, happy and blessed. Every time, Every time I think about you, I am feeling happy and blessed. My baby, oh my baby, my 
So I did not go to her place this week. How so? Natasha is bossy? Yes, she liked to push me around. Oh, really? Yes. So I don't want to be going to her place in mm. black light anymore. What happened? What happened? Yes. She always tell me, don't wear this, don't wear that shoe. Is this the only thing you have? You always wear this every time. So I don't want to go to her place. And she's not listening to me, but she wants to push me around. She's doing that to make you dress nice, to look nice, to be well coordinated. It's not because she hates you. I don't like when she tries to put me down. Okay. I'm, I'm some guy like me. I know what to wear and when to wear. Okay. She's the one that is dating a bad guy. His name is Sinetu. And how did you know? Because he drinks a lot and he, he talks about women a lot. Why do you keep interfering in people's lives and affairs? Natasha is old enough to know what is good for her. That is the reason why you don't go to Natasha's house because you are proposing to her life. She's old enough to know what is good for her. Yes, it's good for you to advise her, fine, but you don't have to force a day on her. I will talk to Natasha when I see her, okay? Okay, let me get something to eat that we can start going. We don't get late for the doctor's appointment. Is that okay? Hello? Oh, it's Chica, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, you spoke to a tea? Let's be serious, Natasha. I called you then just to give you some uh, advice. I know we don't have, nobody has control over anybody's life. You're an adult. But don't you think the observations that Latif made are valid? Have you sat down to those observations he, he told you about to actually monitor the man? The Chinedu, yeah, the Chinedu man, you say you are, you are in love with. Nobody is going to choose for you. We are only doing this because we care. A lot of people made, made mistakes in the past and we don't want you to repeat the same mistakes. He, he said he's a womanizer. He's a drug, he's, he drinks and he sag his pant. I think he just drinks when he's stressed out because of work. You know, what's important to me and that. It's far out. It's like he has to stay there for a month and then. Oh, he only drink when he's stressed? What about the day he doesn't have drink? Then he beats you up? 
that will not happen to me. Why, why, why will he get mad at me? How can a man come to your house and drink, a, finish a bottle of wine? Say he drinks all, finish everything before he goes. Every time he comes we at a sitting, that's a drunk by the No, his drinking is not excessive like that. I mean, I think it's just exaggerating a little bit. It's not like he drinks something that is harsh or something that is high. No, he doesn't. He just drinks wine. These are signs of domestic, these are red, red flags in domestic violence. These are things that women see, but they overlook until it becomes bad. That will not happen to me. Please try to look into it and see how you can correct it. If it's somebody you think you can live your life with, good luck. But if not, make sure you make amend right now before it is too late. None of us really want to cry about you or cry for you. Okay. Okay. Hello? RJ. Uh -huh. Have you called Natasha? Hey, 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 I beg. Wait, 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 wait. I don't tell you, please. No, they discuss that girl with me again. I'm not interested in Natasha. I don't tell you many times. I told you, long distance relationship doesn't work. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> please stop this nonsense. Maybe you want to call me again about Natasha and the boyfriend. Just call her. Just Stop, stop waiting for your princess in Africa and stop cursing me and stop speak, speak good English, don't speak pigeon, you're speaking pigeon now, speak good English like me. Nonsense. You cut the phone on me. I they cut the phone on me? I they? Hello? He got the phone on me. You don't want to tell you to stay away from your mother? Mind your business? When will you learn to mind your business? I have told you to mind your business. Natasha said she's not interested. And they just hang up the phone on you now. You are calling him to force him to call Natasha. Ah! They cannot be interested the first time. Ade is just playing too hard. It's a man like me, I know. Oh, men play too hard. Yes. Men play too hard. And Natasha is blindly in love. She's stupid. Help me. Lord, have mercy on me. What is wrong with you, this child? Okay, you say you have a girlfriend now. Why don't you concentrate on Claudette and leave Natasha and Ade alone? To stay here with you. And you are a troublemaker. I'm a troublemaker? Latif, Latif, I hope you enjoyed the lunch. I do. But I don't like it because Natasha brought me to the same place and it's still such a distance. Anyway, it doesn't matter if Natasha brought you there as long as you enjoyed the meal. Did you, did you enjoy it? Yes, I do. That's what's important, man. <laughs> but now you are bribing me. You are Natasha, you are bribing me. When you used to tell me that I'm disabled or an imbecile, you don't have any respect for people with disability. That's why now you are bribing me. No, no, no. I never, I never meant to like call you names. You know, just at times you just act very weird and very funny. But it's okay. Anyway, I was calling to apologize to you because I understand uh, Natasha sent you out of the house, you know. It's not actually my fault, you know, but... but it's whose it's... fault? It's your fault because Natasha said you had rights in that house more than me. It's your fault. Mm. You have to apologize. You are not apologizing yet. You are just thinking you are right. I don't care about your branch. Well, um, I'm supposed you to be... You have to say you are sorry. If not, <laughs> your branch is wasted. Hey, relax. I already apologized to you. I did. That's why I actually called you and that's why, I mean, got you the lunch. I'm sorry. You know? Okay, I accept your apology because you took me out for lunch. <laughs> anyway, one more thing. Um, would you like to attend the stampede with me? No, I don't like to go to stampede because it's too crowded. Many people are there and it's very noisy. Hey, come on, man. You're a big boy. 
and Mosso, I've got your back. We'll be together. Nothing's going to happen to you. It's not going to be that crowded. Well, even if it is, we'll always find a way to get shot and all that. It's not a problem, man. Okay, but we'll get ice cream, vanilla ice cream when we go there. Everything you want on me, okay? Okay. Mm. I'm glad you're becoming a good boy these days, man. Don't, I told you not to be touching me. You just... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I like the popcorn they sell over there. Oh, really? Yeah. The one they sell over there, eh? It's a very good one. I like the caramel one. That's cool. If you want it, I can get it for you. Yeah? yeah. Let's go, let's Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Let's go, Daddy. Let's go, let's go. How you doing, man? Hope you had fun. I said, did you have fun? Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. You know what? I just don't know why it seems like you, you're different. I don't know. <laughs> you couldn't even put on a hat. I mean, everyone has a hat on for the stampede. Is this the kind of hat that they wear in stampede? Come on, brother, you need to step up. Step up your game, man. You can do better than this. Anyway, what's, what's your weekend like? Like, do you have any, what's any schedule planned for this weekend? I've, I'm gonna rest, I'm, I'm gonna rest. Come on, man, come on. I know you're tired and all that, but I mean, I'm tired too. But it's a friend's birthday, like a very good friend. I just want, want, want to sleep because I work five days a, a, a week, Monday to Friday, and um, I, even this time paid, I, I just went because of you. Come on, man. Don't tell me the no. I need the yes. If you pro pro promise me you're not gonna get drunk. Oh come on man, I give you my word. I give you my word. No drinking man. Stop acting retarded, man. That's my dream, man. Rest! Hey, make you sit down. How are you? How are you, bro? You good? Make grab a seat, man. I'll stop. You good, bro? Dang, I see I see you over there looking at Did you guys have you guys met yourself before now or something? Of course we know each other. Come here. Of course. Come, come, come. Uh, I haven't seen him in ages. Oh, yeah. come here. You say anything. I'm going to skin you like a rock. Oh, boy, man. Hey. Hey. You okay? Yes, he's crazy. Mm. <laughs> ah, make him oh, sit down, man. Sit down. Sit down. Are you good? <laughs> oh. What's up with talk, Latif? Well, I want to tell you. Tell me something. Hey, man, what's up? Talk to me. What's up? Hold up, hold up. Did it come on? Did it come on? We didn't come here for all of this. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute, bro. Uh oh, come on. No, 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 no. You I, see? Patty, sit down. Patty, sit down. Tell me what. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, bro. Don't go. Sit down. Oh, sit, sit, sit down now. Do you want to break my leg or something? What, 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 what is wrong? What is wrong? What do you want to tell me? Come on, bro. I don't know. Patty? 
One. I was trying to tell you, but you didn't listen to me. Auntie, who are you talking to? I'm, I'm talking to your boyfriend. But who are you talking about? About one, one girl, one lady. She has HIV. You, you remember the, the, the birthday party? She did invited me to. Hold on one second. Natasha is here. I, I, I'm going to tell her what happened. Hold on, okay? Don't drop, okay? Don't drop, okay? There is one girl. Her name is Erica. She has HIV. I, I was trying to tell she knew. Okay, how do you know that? Why are you spreading it around, though? Do you know that she has, she has it? Yes. How do you know that? I saw her coming out from HIV cancelling building. But wait, how is that your business? Because when we went to the to the birthday, it was only four of us and she was taking everybody out. And I'm sure they went and did something. Okay. That's not your business, one. She does not have HIV until you prove it. Stop spreading rumors because if she catches you and she does anything to you, then that's your fault. But my son doesn't know he has HIV. It doesn't matter. That does not matter. That is not is any of your business. Like, I don't understand. How is that your business, though? Because they're my friends. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they they're friends. They decided and they agreed to sleep with her. Oh. And she agrees to your boyfriend. And? I don't want him to die. See, she said, you go and cheat on you now. She has, he, he probably has HIV and you have HIV too, if, if you sleep with him. No, me, I don't have HIV. Well, if you sleep with Shinedu, you have HIV. Well, I sleep with him, so I don't have HIV. Okay. That's just a good question. I'm very tired and I'm exhausted. Do you understand? Go sleep. I am, I am going to sleep. Bye. Go sleep. Bye. Go sleep. Go sleep. Go sleep. Hello, Rex. Is she that ready? I, I was calling you before, but you're not picking up. That lady at the karaoke has HIV. Erica has HIV. I'm going to my room. I'm sorry. Erica has HIV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 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 My thief actually told me that Erica has HIV. Did you know about that? <laughs> My thief told you that too, I'm huh? I'm joking, man. I'm serious. You know, like, we can always work things out. Like, I don't have to wait for three years or wait for like a year. You know, right, three months, but like... it's just like, for me, for me, it's just too soon. I know. It's just too I, soon. I've known you for three months, but you know what? The three months I've known you for feels like I've already known you for like 30 years right now, oh. man. Like there's something different about <laughs> you. Like the first time I saw you, like I just... I'm a little concerned. Yeah, she got a call. Yeah, I'm concerned, man. Call her. Call Erica right now. I had a feeling that <sighs> you're the one. Okay, you oh, know what? Just Hold keep on, ringing. Fast. Like, um, do you have to pick up a call? Are you expecting someone? Oh, wait. Come on, just... Let's see this. 
so sorry. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. yeah, do your thing. Erica. Yeah, I can hear you. What's up? Oh, you answered my phone now, but you, you didn't want to answer Chini, Chinidu's phone. He's called you from his number, but now I call you from a different no, number you want to pick no, up. No, 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 no. No. Ah, listen, no, I have I'm to ask you. Do you, do, you, do you have HIV? Like, okay, what kind of nonsense is this? You know what? I don't know what kind of nonsense this is. Like, Mom, what are you talking about? Answer that about? nonsense now. Answer that nonsense. I hope you guys both Are you on your medication? Yourself. Are you taking your medication? Have you been taking your medication? You and Chinidu, the team? I'm so sick of you. I hope you just kill yourselves. So done. Medication or no medication, does that stop her from spreading HIV? Listen to me. Listen to me, Chinidu. If you are, if you have HIV, you can take medication and it will, it will, it will prolong your lifespan. You can actually, for real, you can actually have a life with HIV. You can live a longer lifespan. Yes, you can. Are you sure? You just have to make sure you take your medication. You take your medication on a regular basis, then you can prolong your longevity with, with, with HIV. But if you don't take your medication, then we're kaput. If Erica is not taking her medication, we are finished. We are finished. But you know what? I think this whole thing is making me think that Latif is telling the truth. The way that she's been acting around you and around me on that funny business. talking about the party that Chinudu went to? Wait, wait, so he said that Chinudu slept with a girl at that party and she has HIV. Are you kidding me? Literally. Yes, he kept telling that there was a girl that they went to a party with and she has HIV. Like he keeps telling everybody that, that she, yeah, that Chinudu has HIV because Chinudu slept with her. With her. You know how Latif is. Latif does not like Chinidu. Latif will say anything. And most of the time it's not even true. So you know how he is now. What do you mean? Really? Now, is it coming from your mouth? You too? You don't like you do not like Chinidu. So I cannot even you don't like him. But you know what? After the conversation that they had, Chinidu Chinidu hasn't called me. You know how usually Latif will say stuff and then Chinidu will call me to defend himself? No, he didn't do that. No. Mm, no. Till now, I'm still waiting. Yes. It's so weird. I think I need to call him. No, I'll call him. Yes, because I need to know. No, I'm calling him right now, okay? Okay. All right, let me call, let me call him, okay? Bye. Disability no be the problem, oh, oh. oh yeah. Now your attitude be the problem, oh, oh. Yeah. Hey babe, how you doing? How are you? I'm okay, it's been a while. Are you in Calgary? No, I'm at work uh, in Edmonton. Oh, you're in Edmonton? Work. Okay, so when are you coming back? Um, because you know it's two weeks on, off and on, right? So I think I should be back on the 17th, I think. Oh, okay, the 17th. Okay, that's okay. But anyways, I have a question because the other day, I walked into the house when um, Latif and you had, were having that conversation about the party that you took him to. Yes. That was you on the phone, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, I want to ask something because she was talking about the girl that you slept with that has HIV at that party. Yeah, but the part that talks about sleeping with me, sleeping with a girl, um, 
that's not true. You know your cousin, Latif, you know he just likes to make up stories and all that and you know he has a disability. <laughs> Come on. Really? You know what? Anyways, this is not even a conversation this is not even a conversation for on the phone. So when you come back, we'll talk face to face. Yeah, sure. I'll I'll be in um Hagrid now on the seventeenth and we'll talk. It's not a problem. I mean right. Yeah. All right, I miss you, babe. Yes, I'm in a building. The biggest mistake I made, see, the biggest mistake I ever made was ever taking me to that party. But why are you talking like this now? It's me now, don't you know me? I've been very smart with this girl. You are. Huh? See, why are you talking like you don't know me? It's me, you genius, with double no seven. But you know, I don't take chances. I smash them. And there's not a single trace. Almost like she caught me red handed because that he told her everything. But ah, not me now, you don't know. I don't I don't I don't take chances. But now man, I'm in trouble. I don't even know what to hey, say. Hey, hey, Mr. Devil Natasha. Okay. I was going to come to your to your Come to where? I was I was I'm supposed to come to you. No, 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 no. So all this time you had me believe that my cousin was telling a lie. No, so wait, if I didn't have go outside to get something, you would come upstairs and tell me lies. Really? No, no. So all you do is sleep around with girls. That me, I caught you. I caught you. I had a conversation that you and my cousin were talking about. So you went to a party, slept with the girl that had the HIV. And you don't even know if you had it or not. Are you kidding me? Ha! No, it's okay. It's okay. Continue with your call. Finish it up. I don't want to see you. No, it's okay, girl. I don't want to talk to you. Don't come near my cousin and don't come anywhere near us. Do you understand? Do you understand? Let me tell you something. I fought my best friend because of you. Are you kidding me? Literally. No, you know what? I'm not stupid because last time I checked, we had a date at the library. What did you do? It took two hours to be in traffic. Two hours. Traffic for two hours. Where? So you want me to contract HIV? Are you kidding me? See, eh? Delete my number. Delete it. D delete my number. Don't ever. Oh my god! Are you proposing? Yes. You can marry my cousin because I don't want you to give her thesis. Do you have evidence? I saw you with another woman. But how can I believe you and how can I trust what you're saying? Because you've been saying this. But that is the truth! No, I don't believe you. I do not believe you and I don't like what you're saying. So I'm gonna leave you here and I'm done with this conversation because I don't. See, I your boyfriend. And? I don't want him to die. Are you serious? I don't understand why you're calling me with everything that you just did. 
me if you ever call my phone i'm reporting you to the, the police you understand don't ever call my phone don't ever contact me leave me alone you think what erica did to you is something when i'm finished with you that work the work you do like this you be going like this doing jaga jaga now when i'm finished with you you look like you're crawling on four legs you understand me now now you're trying to break up Chine, dude, with your cousin. With all the nonsense you're talking. You're going around telling your cousin that Chine Du drinks all the time. That Chine Du is a womanizer with different girls. Is this your business? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Is this your business? You shouldn't go around interfering in people's lives. I don't have HIV. I tested myself now. I am clear. You need to stop what you're doing. Do you understand? Let's see. I'm telling you one time only. Let them break up and see what I'll do to you. Idiot. Get out of here. My disability no be the problem. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Now your attitude be the problem. Oh, oh. Yeah. My disability no be the problem. Oh, oh. What do you want? I've been knocking for a while, but why did it take you like two years to open the door? I thought my teacher said you should not come here again. You are red. You beat me. You hey, hey, listen, me listen, listen. Shut up. I'm talking. Shut up. How dare you talk to me that way? You told me. You, I, I, you told You're a bad Put person. Hands down, man. What's he put at the door? It's this retarded. He wouldn't even let me talk, come and see you. Would you open the door and come see my baby too. girl? I thought you told uh -uh. me not to come here again. You have the girls to stop kind of. You better keep your hands to yourself, man. What do you want? How can I help you? Baby, what's up? How are you? Why are you here? Why are you pushing me, baby? Why are you here? I came to see you, baby. For what? I told you I was coming. And I told you not to come to my house. I should be asking you. I don't get it. You don't understand why. It's funny, man. Why? Okay. Let me let you know since it's. Retarded cousin? My retarded cousin. Hey, come on, man. You can't even touch me. It's a big group. Big group. Hey, you better, you, 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 you better respect your... Go away from our house. What do you mean? Come, babe. What's up? Uh -uh, you should leave. Go away from our house. You should leave and don't ever I come in peace. Don't Go away from come our back. house. It's me. It's me, Chinedu. It's me. And you babe. sleep around with females and you lie. Oh, please. And thirdly, you carry guns with you. I don't want to see you here ever again. Hey, babe, I can ask you. No, 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 I don't need you to. Don't touch it, it's me. Don't touch it. My friend, would you get your sticky hands off me? What? It's just, 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 it's just,
Are you sure you want to hear this? Of, ah, yes. Where do you want to go for the third one? I'm prepared. I'm ready. Are you sure you ah, want to hear this? That if I'm ready. I'm all ears. Tell me where you want to go for the third one. The rest of that! Okay. I'll go and get ready. And you start getting ready, okay? Okay. So I'll start getting ready. You start getting ready. You can get ready first. Ah. I'm always ready. Ah, Latif, stop eating. Get ready. I will get ready. Just go your own. Oh, okay. Hey. My disability no be the problem. Oh. Try to fix me. I don't get problem. It's only an attribute. I don't get problem. It's not a deficit either. I don't get problem. I'm not as deficient and helpless. I don't get problem. Do not try to fix me. I'm not broken. Do not try to fix me. I'm not broken. Disability no be the problem, oh, oh, oh yes. Now your attitude be the problem, oh, oh, oh yes. My disability no be the problem, oh, oh, oh yes. Now your attitude be the problem, oh, oh, oh yes. No one is self-sufficient. Shut up. I say no one is self-sufficient. Everyone try to modify, to modify me. Support me so I can support myself. Support me. 